Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is a benchmark shootout between the OnePlus 2 and the iPhone 6S Plus. Both of these phones are top of the line from their manufacturers, that being OnePlus and Apple, and both are very similar as far as dimensions. We both have 5.5 inch displays. They both run 1080p resolutions with LCDs or IPS LCDs, but inside they're quite different and they also obviously run different operating systems. So inside the OnePlus 2, we have a Snapdragon 810. It's a 64 bit processor and it's a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core. So eight cores running at 1.8 gigahertz. So that's pretty powerful on paper. We also get four gigabytes of RAM with this particular model, as long as you have the 64 gigabyte storage model, you've got four gigabytes of RAM. Inside the iPhone 6S Plus, we've got Apple's new A9 processor along with their M9 coprocessor. We believe it's a dual core running at 1.8 gigahertz. We also get two gigabytes of RAM. So it sounds pretty uneven on paper, but in the real world with actual smoothness and usability and actual benchmarks, I thought we'd test that out because Apple has performed pretty well when it consider when you consider how slow it really should be on paper compared to Android. So let's check that out. So let's unlock these with their fingerprint readers. And now they're unlocked and we're going to run two benchmarks and then we'll check out their browsers and load my website and see how that does in scrolls. So we'll run Antutu and Geekbench. So let's take a look at both of those. Here we have Antutu. Let's run Geekbench first since it's a little bit quicker. Now before we do that, let's make sure all the apps are closed. And we have settings open on both, so we'll close those. And we'll go ahead and accept this. Reopen Geekbench. So here you can see we have 1.85 gigahertz processors, like I said before. We have iOS 9.1. We have Android 5.1.1. And this one actually says CPU speed is 1.56 gigahertz. But regardless, let's go ahead and run the benchmark and see how it goes. I'll speed this up to make this go by a little bit quicker for you. Both have finished and you can see the scores are very different for the single core score with the iPhone 6S Plus beating it out. But for the multi-core score, the OnePlus 2 wins. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's move to the single core. And you can see how that ranks up real quick. And then multi-core. Both are pretty impressive as far as those scores go. Let's take a look at Antutu now. Just like we did before, we'll close the applications and we'll open Antutu. So I ran this probably on some other device. I'm not sure that this is for this particular device, uh, but we'll run it again either way. So you can see one plus and rankings. Let's test again and let's go ahead and test. Again, I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait quite as long. Both of these devices finished at right about the same time. And you can see on the right, we have the iPhone 6S Plus leading at 59,256, which is incredibly impressive. And the OnePlus 2 actually running at 49,266. So that's pretty impressive as well. You can see some of the other devices that are in the lead here. What's funny is it says my one A2005 and then other people have run this test showing the one plus two up here. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why it's showing that. Let's go ahead and go to details. And that's what we got in this particular test. So you can see everything here on the device. Uh, we'll go back to the test details and you can see the same scores here. So here's all the different tests and everything. Pretty impressive. I think for the iPhone success plus considering it has six less cores, that's pretty impressive. But really what matters is not these numbers. It's what happens in real life when you're using the phone day to day. So let's go home here. Let's close the applications. And that's fine. So let's go ahead and open our different browsers. I was looking at some different things here. Let's go to my website. We're both on Wi-Fi and T-Mobile actually. So you can see it loaded. Both are pretty fast. I don't think you're going to have any issues. 
And that one hiccuped for just a second and not too much of an issue. Now, one thing that's pretty interesting to note is this phone gets kind of hot around this band. The iPhone 6S Plus gets hot right in this area. So I've noticed that in using them. Let's rotate back. I think though, for both of these phones, uh, it really comes down to which one do you prefer to use? Which device do you want to use, iOS or Android? Both work great. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. We won't talk about that right now, but you can in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Both devices are very impressive. Real world usability is about the same, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. And what's even more impressive is the OnePlus 2 actually costs about half the price of the 6S Plus. So that's pretty impressive in its own right. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed or liked, please do that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.